Welcome back to Sports Tonight on Channels Television. Let's go to our Benin Studios now. Aisha Fallow, the chairperson of the Nigeria Women's Premier League, is standing by to be part of the program. Good evening, Aisha. Welcome to Sports Tonight. Good evening, Austin. It's good to join you from your Benin studio. Fantastic. Last, the last time I had you right here, and now you're over there. And that's because we're having the MWPL Super 4. Uh, Aisha, we've seen two days of fantastic football. But with what you've seen on ground, uh, are we meeting the objectives? Oh, yes, uh, Austin. This is um, the philosophy and the division uh, behind the Super 4 was that once you had the league split into two groups. Uh, we needed to know that the champion at the end of this season would truly be the champion. The Super 4 is a tournament uh, between the champions where a champion will be decided from the champions. And we've seen that so far. Uh, Rivers Angels, uh, they came with all their bragging rights and the arrogance of a champion. But, you know, they've been humbled. That's the game of football. We saw Nasarawa Amazons, who, who came to the tournament, so to speak, as an underdog, mm. because they have won the Super Four and won the league the least number of times among the four groups, um, among the four, the four teams. Uh, River Angels, perennial champions, Bielsa Queens, they've won it more than one time. Uh, Delta Queens have won it uh, more than one time. Only uh, Nasrawa Amazons came as underdog. And they have, uh, they came determined. They came uh, showing that they really want to compete for the trophy. And we have seen that emphatic wins in their two, uh, uh, in, their, in the two games that they've played. They've been the only ones who have scored the maximum points in the two games that they've played. Delta Queens, they've dropped a, They've dropped the points. Uh, we are looking at Bielsa and Rivers. Rivers is clearly con out of contention, uh, but Bielsa still has a, a slim chance of qualifying. If um, if they do win Rivers Angels, uh, uh, and the um, uh, Delta Queen uh, are beaten, Delta Queens are beaten by. Uh, uh, Nasarawa. It means that uh, they can qualify. Uh, but if there is a draw, then. Um, for both sides, if uh, Nasrawa uh, draws um, uh, Delta Queens um, and then Bielsa wins, then you can begin to do the mathematics. Uh, a win for Bielsa will take them to four points. Uh, a draw for Bielsa will still give them two points. A win for Delta Queens will take them to, uh, they are on four points now. That will give them seven. Uh, a draw will give them, uh, a draw will give them, uh, three plus one, that's uh, will give them uh, five. Uh, so you see that uh, even women's football, we are beginning to do some mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a, champions, a champion to emerge mm. in, 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 in the league. This is quite interesting. That's right. I mean, that was the objective mm. of, of the Super that's Bowl. That's right. And we're, we're meeting it. I agree with you because now we just can't say uh, Bayasa Queen will blow away this team, River Angels will blow away that team. It's getting competitive. Let's talk about uh, the sort of support you are receiving from the people of Edo State. Uh, yes, I know we're not sitting the sort of crowd that will come out when the Super Eagles are playing. Uh, but so far, have, have you been pleased with the turnout? I'm, I've been very pleased with the turnout. What you have been seeing on television, uh, you know the cameramen would always uh, mount their cameras where there's cover seats. The cover seat at the Samuel Obimudia Stadium, I'm told that stadium is 25,000 capacity. The cover seat will take about uh, between 10,000, uh, let's say between seven and 10,000. Oh, wow. And they have had the covered seats, the side where the cameras are mounted, fully packed, packed with men, women, young girls, young boys. It has been, it, it's really been amazing, uh, the kind of entertainment we had in the stadium, the kind of turnout. But we are hoping that when we play on Friday, that the, 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 the standards are not covered, we'll have the crowd. Uh, because tomorrow, really, the, 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 it will be the, the decider for the second team that will qualify. That is why we are going to play the matches simultaneously, because we do not want any arrangement. So for the first time, we are going to play simultaneously to decide who joins um, Nasarawa Amazons for, for the final. Uh, the Nasarawa Amazons versus Delta Queens will still be put inside the, the Samuel Media uh, Stadium, while the uh, um, Bielsa Queens Rivers Angels will have to be played at the School of um, uh, School of Health 
uh, ground. So you can see that um, uh, we are not leaving anything to chance. We want to be sure that uh, there are no hanky-panky. We want to be sure that there are no negotiations. We want to be sure that um, uh, teams are not talking to one another. Uh, we want to put every, all the club, you know, all the clubs at the blind side of one another so that we can really have um, uh, two quality teams uh, from the quality that we have so far playing in the final on Friday. Okay, um, Aisha, let's let's talk about that. The team has been has been busy. I see uh, players from the Nigeria Women's Premier League uh, going out there doing community projects. Uh, tell me more. Well, it was rest day for the teams today. Rest day, but there was no rest for the clubs because um, once we said we were coming to Benin, we knew that uh, we were going to be giving back to the uh, community, you know, one community in Benin, because Edo State has been very good to us. Edo State has been wonderful in terms of the facilities they provided, uh, in terms of um, the commitment to the um, to the ideal of wanting to, you know, rejuvenate uh, women's football. Uh, the only way we thought we could show appreciation and also impact on the community was to go out on the rest day with the, with the girls to uh, a school, a motor secondary school to be precise in Benin, uh, to do a community work. It's what you call a CSR. CSR by way of mentoring. Uh, we tag the CSR fusion, that is football uh, plus uh, education, uh, playing it right. You cannot miss it. Once you have football with education, you are only destined for the top. We wanted the girls to know that education is very important. If you want to play the sport, education will take you far. But if you are half big, you will, you will stop before you start. Uh, we wanted to, to let them know that with education, you will be strong. With education, you will see you know, far more opportunities in the sport. You cannot, you, you know, you cannot be limited to wanting to play. There are several areas where you can engage, where you can make career out of uh, playing the game. Uh, you have hospitality, you have administration, uh, you have um, tourism, uh, you have managerial position. And uh, we're very pleased that um, the girls were truly engaged. They were truly spoken to. They took the message to heart. And that was what we wanted. And we achieved that objective. Large turnout. They were very grateful. Uh, they didn't want to let us go. They had a good time, but the message was not lost on them. And we got commitment out of them to say that this visit would begin, the impact will begin to show in the Edo State sports industry, as it's been envisioned and uh, promoted by His Excellency God, Governor uh, Godwin Obasiki and his deputy, uh, Right Honorable Philip Shaibu, that indeed will begin to see the impact and the manifestation of what happens today at uh, Emota Secondary School and the uh, sports industry of Edo State.